We're a particular team called the Advocacy and Research Support Group. Primary role is to work with underserved departments uh, in terms of IT uh, throughout the college. There's over a hundred some units. My particular role on the team is to work with groups that are interested in cloud computing, uh, big data mining, and uh, social media mining, and GIS. The majority of our users for these kinds of features are instructors in humanities or social science courses. The focus of the class isn't GIS, so we want to make it as easy as possible for both the instructors and the students to make use of tools like web maps and story maps. I think one of our uh, most successful projects at U of M has been to use uh, the GeoPlanner application. It brings in a lot of folks across the spectrum from environmental studies, geology, business, economics, history. But we teach it with the focus being energy resources. We present them with a problem at the beginning. The university buys about 500 million kilowatt hours of energy a year from our local power provider, Detroit Edison. And we want them to explore what benefits the university might get and what the impacts would be of producing that from alternative energy sources. And we leave it up to them to select various parcels and keep track on the GeoPlanner dashboard until they get to that 500 million kilowatt hour goal. And then each week we make the project a little more complicated. The sun only shines part of the day, so we introduce wind power as an alternative. And we also start introducing carbon footprint and total cost. We get the economic students who are interested in it, and we start looking at cost savings, you know, what's the health impact of costs of a bunch of people living downwind from a coal plant. So over the course of the semester, we take a very broadly distributed group of people and get them to come to a pretty coherent consensus at the end that the university should consider switching to alternative fuels as a way not only to save money, and be, but also be better for the environment.